Okay, so now we are here in the Savage Labyrinth, and basically we will be going down that hole over there. But first, you want to go over here, and if you don't have any, or, yeah, if you have any empty bottles, which I do not, just grab a fairy. But we will, I will probably end up speeding this part up because this otherwise will take a couple episodes or one really long episode. So yeah, let's enter now. <laughs> My god, we're finally done. <laughs> ah, well, that was 30 floors right there. And one thing I think I forgot to point out at the beginning is that um, 
every ten floors is actually based on one of the dungeons. Yeah, I don't hear many people actually point this out, but the first ten floors are based on the uh, on Dragon Roost Cavern. This, like, that's one through ten. Eleven through twenty are based on um Forest Haven or Forbidden Woods, but it's played away. Woods Requiem one more time. And floors 21 through 30 are based on uh, Tower of the Gods. And uh, look, another Triforce chart is appearing. And here we go, guys. This is number 5. Yeah, number 5. Ah, uh, losing track after recording for so long. And we could leave, but there is this guy right here, which we don't pick up. Oh, yeah. You do this. And this will let you go to fit an extra 20 more floors. You can do... There's... It goes up to 50 floors. If you do those extra 20 floors, you will get a piece of heart, but... That doesn't matter. And yes, 41 through 50 are based on... um. Wait, or based on the Earth Temple and 41 through 50 are Wind Temple. But yeah, let's leave this dang place. We don't care about that. Okay, guys, so we are here at Stone Watcher Island, and this is where the six is. Six? Yes. We will be getting the sixth one right now. And let's just stop and jump out of our dang boat. And. God, I have to cough so much. And climb up here. And roll up to the top of the mountain island thing. And oh, there's a giant rock head. Looks like the was guarding the savage labyrinth. And we throw it. And I want some magic. Come on, give me some magic. Oh, there's a heart. What? Magic? 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 Really? Oh, okay, there's one more. Please. I got one magic from that whole thing. That's baloney, man. I should have gotten more. Yes, let's, um... Okay. Just want to make sure. Let's, um... Go into the... Oh, God, it's dark when there's black and white stuff. It's hard to see, but I can... Hopefully I'll be able to get through here. And... Oh! 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 Those, I don't know what they're called, the small armos. Ah, oh, no, 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 Get him. And enough to get those two. Dang it. Come on, get him. We got him. We win. I don't know how I got both of those two with one arrow. That doesn't make any sense, but I'll take it. Ooh, I heard arrows. And a heart. Ooh. That is one room. Ooh. It's on fire. Um. Oh, sorry, guys. Black and white's getting me stuck behind pillars. Again. Getting stuck behind pillars. I know it sounds like I'm just making stuff up, but it actually is true. <laughs> Die! What the heck? My L button just like freaked out there. Die. Don't know. There, they're both dead. Bruh. Teabag. Let me get my rupees. And my skull necklace, which I don't really... I'm not going to be doing the side quest for that, so who really cares? <laughs> is two rooms. Now on to the third room, which is not this one. This one has bars on it. Must be this one. Ooh. What are we fighting in here? Oh! What, there's like three of them? Aha. This is why I use fire arrows. Kill them in one shot. That's a room that would, I would normally not like, but I'm okay with that. Because I killed them in three arrows. I'm so good at life. Okay. 
That is three rooms. Now onto the fourth room, which should be right over here. Which contains... A bunch of these... Uh, what are they called? Boko Bob Goblins, I think. And is that all of them? I think that's all of them. What? There's one left? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Well, he's dead now. That's all. Yes. Okay. But, and now that we defeated all them, there are two, um... I don't know if these are Dark Nuts, or... I believe these two are Dark... Yeah, they're not... They're Dark Nuts. Oh, God. Yes, there's Launch of Rupees. I want to get them. I don't want to waste them. Ah, oh, thank you. Ooh, I got both of their helmets. <laughs> I'm so used to having that equipped that... Ah, oh, man. I'm so used to having my boomerang equipped and I'm fighting these guys that I just automatically press Z. Don't even try and beat me, bruh. I am too good. I am Link. I was gonna call myself something new. That would spoil something for later in the game. You guys who've played this game before know what I was gonna call myself. It's something that we will see very soon. Uh, and this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna take. We have to take their sword and just. Ooh, red ruby. And you can just throw this and get lots of rupees. We're gonna need the money, so we might as well do it. Let's see, we're getting good amounts of rupees. Oh, I miss really. Green rupees. Um, arrows. Give me another like red. Give me like a purple ruby. Really sweet. Oh, there is a purple ruby in there. Ah, I'm so good. And bombs. Well, it, which room? It was uh, this one, right? It's the one I just threw my sword at. Or not my sword, their sword. I guess that was right. And there's even more pots. Give me more green rupees. And... Ooh, that's a nice one right there. Ow, I just hit my wrist. See, now I'm used to having my Wind Waker out. Man. Let's play the Wind God. The Wind God's Requiem. No, it's just the Wind's Requiem. Playing it for the sixth time. No, not six, because we didn't have to do it for the one with the uh, ship. But let's open this up. And... We got our sixth try fourth chart. Yeah. We still need more money. Because I actually looked it up before I started this recording. We need 3,184 rupees to decipher all of them. Hopefully we'll get that soon. 